television as a child, and I never thought that I would be a harpist or I would learn the harp. And uh, it seems so wonderful. I thought amazing race. This is the very first piece that I played for you. And well, I thought I, it's something so wonderful, and it just stayed with me. I went on to learn the piano and violin. And I won a national award called the Young Musician of the Year 2014. They took me to France for a, uh, for a summer school. And while I'm at my piano summer school, there were harpists crawling around their harp, playing at the tea recitals. And I thought, this is so wonderful. I have some, some people here. Can you hear me? Yeah. OK, lovely. So I thought, this is so wonderful. And being a musician, it had never occurred to me that you could actually be a harpist, sit at a harp, have a harp teacher sitting next to you, have giving you a harp lesson. Because in India, you cannot even buy a harp string. Forget about buying an, buying an instrument. You, there is no uh, there is no book. There is nothing that you can get for this instrument, even in the best, most renowned music shops. I live right next to a big music shop in Mumbai, and they have nothing for the harp at all. Nothing in the country that you can get. So it never, it never occurred to me that this is something I could do. And when I saw these musicians perform, I was, I was shocked. I thought, okay, maybe I can find somebody from India here. Because there are harpists from Italy, from Japan, China, US, Europe. I should find somebody here. And I looked through the list, and there was nobody. I thought, okay, I will come back, and I will find somebody. And I came back, and I couldn't find anybody. And I didn't know why. I looked and looked. I checked in all the music circles everywhere, couldn't find a single person who teach, who, who could teach me the pedal harp. Nobody had one. And uh, when I thought, let me try to get a small harp. I looked at the cost of harps, I was shocked. I never, I never really explored this option because I never thought it, it was even possible. And when I started exploring this option, I thought, my goodness, I can maybe get a smaller wheel. And then I was reading in the Bible where it says, with God, nothing is impossible. And then I look up and I see a full size by the harp sitting in my room. And I think this is so strange. I don't know how it's going to happen. But let me just trust God about it. And when God gives you a vision for something, you need to make place for it, right? So I'm, my husband and myself are, very, are having this very childlike conversation. Like, where are we going to put it? Now God has given us this vision. It might happen. It could happen. Where are we going to put it? And he said, we can put it there. And I'm like, no, it's, it's quite big. We need to move things around. So we're thinking, OK, we move the sofa there. We move this table here. And we have it over here, OK? Not knowing what we're going to get, where we're going to get it from, how we're going to pay for it, nothing at all. And I just stayed with that, that it could, <coughs> sorry, that it could happen. It could happen. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not going to do it. Thank you. And uh, well, in three months, the exact same heart was sitting in that exact same place, in the exact same way. I was put in touch with somebody who was here in India for a short while, didn't ever know about her before, got to know about her a week before she flew back to the United States. She gives me the instrument, gives me what I didn't even know that I needed for this instrument, because it's huge, and it needs a lot of maintenance, I needed She's like, she gave me a bag of strings. I'm like, why are you giving me this? She's like, no, you will need it. Just keep it. You will need it sometime. And she gave me the seat because we sit on a different seat at the pedal harp because we need the height and the trolley. So it's a really huge instrument. It's also very expensive. You can't just walk around with it. It's, the harp that I have is 45 kg plus. And so you need a trolley to go up and down the steps. That that time I stayed on in a really old building on the first floor. So this little harp lady trolleys out that harp on this harp trolley which goes up steps. There's a different to harp trolley which goes up steps. There's a different harp trolley which you can just go on a flat surface. So she straps the trolley in the front with a belt and she pulls it up on her shoulder almost two flights of stairs and leaves it in my room. And I don't know her at all. She doesn't know me at all. And she's like, I just trust you that you will pay for this instrument over a period of years. Don't worry about it. And I'm back with it. And she goes back. And she stays flies, she leaves the country the next day. And now I'm looking at my husband, and my husband is looking at me. He saw the first, he saw the heart for the first time when it reached our road. He'd never seen it before. Man of faith, isn't it? <laughs> he trusts his wife so much. So well, the heart is here now in the room. 
and I'm thinking now I have how do I learn? And well, it, by the end of that year, I got the heart. It's quite recent. I got the heart in late 2014. By Jan, first week of Jan 2014, a heart teacher walks through my door. I was put in touch with her, a friend of a friend of a friend. Oh, somebody has a heart. You want to teach her? Okay, fine. This lady traveled one hour by train to come and teach me. I was, I was so touched. And then she flies, she goes back to the US, somebody else comes, and then there is nobody. And now I have to learn by myself. And then I learn on Zoom, on Skype, on YouTube, and there was no, uh, when it didn't become so famous, back in 2015, it was not so good to be famous to learn online on Zoom. It became famous in 2020 with COVID. But I was learning before that for five years, the heart, with visiting artists, with, with the online, uh, and people would ask me, how do you learn music online? Well, I was not. Well, I had no option. And the thing about music, you have to learn consistently with somebody. You can't just learn for a short time and you can go back. You have to learn consistently. You have to practice every day whether you have a concert or you don't. You just show up and play and practice. And so I would just practice and practice and now I had to believe that I had to play this lady. And I really wanted to keep my word. And God was so faithful, you know. I was put in touch. Arijit Singh's manager got hits by now and he calls me. He's like, do you know who Arijit Singh is? And back then, honestly, I was like, I'm so sorry. He's like, well, can you come for the rehearsal today? And so I was playing. And I had just, I just started learning. And he would practice day and night just to be able to play all the music they wanted me to play. And then with Arijit Singh, I traveled the country. I traveled internationally playing in Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Singapore, Dubai, doing a symphony concert series. And sometimes you know how it is. They give you the music right there before the performance. Okay, you have to play this. And I'm just looking at it and trying to figure out what do I do? And then I'm practicing like crazy. Everyone's going for a break and I'm practicing. The heart is never leaving the heart. <laughs> well, so that's the journey. That's how it began. So I was able to clear it off. And I and then I was traveling with my heart. Sometimes, you know, musicians are crazy. The instrument I put in the car is more expensive than the car. Yes. And then I'm traveling with it to Chandigarh, I'm traveling with it to Chennai, and one day there was an issue with the heart. The balloon wouldn't work. And you know, we, we, we reached the day of the concert and the instrument doesn't work now, what do you do? So I needed a backup heart, so I had to import a heart from Russia. And my, so my strings are from the US, the heart is not from Russia. We have this other pedal heart that we need. It's good, but it's a little bit old. It was her teacher who gave it to her and she gave it to me, so it's already seen all of the United States now so it's traveled all over India so it needs to sit in one place mostly. So it sits in the house in the studio in, in Mumbai. So it's a Venus heart. And then I travel with my white heart which you may have seen in some of the pictures on YouTube. So that's my travel heart by road. Then sometimes I need to travel by flight so that's when I have to get this heart which I can just check on a flight. And by God's grace, I've been able to leave this legacy in the country where today, if somebody else wants to learn a heart, it doesn't have to be so difficult. How many strings do you have on the wire? Four. On the guitar? Six. On the guitar, you have six. And you all have to be in tune. And you need a backup, right? You can't just go with your six strings. Even with the heart, I need 47 strings on the red heart. I need all of them. Because sometimes I'm not playing on the note. But I need it just as a supporting string while I play the other strings. So I need all 47 strings. I need all of them to be in tune. I need my pedals to work flawlessly. So when I with the shift of the pedal, all my C's will change to C natural or C sharp or C flat. It's quite an engineering novel actually, the pedal art. And uh, well, so that's the journey. And today I, I teach out in this little hub studio in Mumbai. So I have students who come to the studio. And then I teach online and internationally as well. So students in Chennai, in, in Delhi, in Northeast, they can learn online on Zoom as well as I teach internationally. So we have the Harp India YouTube channel, the Harp India Facebook page, and the Harp India Info page. Okay? So now let me conclude finally with a song from Goa. If you're all around the world, let me bring you back. <laughs> 